Here we have a very simple demonstration of the power of suspend when called. I have a, a VI called do math, which merely takes two double precision numeric inputs and performs a function on them, either an addition or a subtraction in this case. If I choose to add, then the two values provided are added together and the output is returned. Alternatively, I can subtract those numbers. I'm now using that VI as a sub-VI in a top-level uh, VI. I'm simply providing the function as an input, two numeric values as inputs, and then returning the result. However, I'm now going to change the sub-VI setup to suspend when called. I'm now going to specify a couple of inputs, so let's specify four and three, and perform the addition. When the execution hits the sub-VI that is set to suspend when called, this VI doesn't actually execute, it's currently paused. I can run the VI, and we can see that it already has the inputs that were provided, so I can run the VI, and the output is returned. A neat feature of suspend when called is that I can then change these values and rerun the VI several times. This allows me to check the operation of this sub-VI providing different values as inputs and monitoring the output. A neat feature of suspend when called is that I can also directly edit an indicator. This is one of the few, if not the only instance where this can be performed in LabVIEW. Clicking on the return to caller button simply returns back to the calling VI, passing the output held in this indicator back to the caller. As we can see, I directly edited the indicator and that was the value that was returned to the caller. I can also return to the caller without executing the sub-VI, effectively bypassing its operation just by simply clicking return to caller. If this was a long running operation that I wished to abort, then clicking the stop button aborts the entire hierarchy. That's suspend when called.